See, this is where it feels awkward. I feel like he's singing with half a, half the tune, and I can't even equip his harmonica. Yeah, it feels a bit sad just letting him do that all by himself. <laughs> BB seemed to like that. Alright, hello there everyone. Sorry, I was a bit distracted by Sam's little singing. So, uh, yeah, BB seems to enjoy this. And it's allowing our battery to recharge a bit. I mean, you can see there, it's in the yellow. It'd take way too long to get in the green, but, uh, yeah, it got back to a little bit of decent level. Let's stand up. It restored the health a bit as well. I wouldn't say it was down, but uh, it doesn't hurt just topping it up. <laughs> I do find it strange though that the first moment you uh, start getting out of one of these spars, it is so slow getting out. Like, look at that, it's pushing my stamina to get out. <laughs> Come on, Sam, you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. <laughs> it's as if he, he's saying, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. So yeah, destination, Mountain Nut City, 1,326 kilometers, and I'll be honest, this could take an entire video, because it is not a simple journey. Um, it's kind of why I did that like, bit last episode with the Novelist Sun. I thought, you know what, let's just, uh, well, like I say, we needed the detour. I didn't want to go through that camp. I will keep saying that, that camp is horrid. But um, yeah, I thought if we can just go around it, it's not a bad call. Now, you might be able to tell on the horizon, those mountains are pretty snowy. <laughs> um, we probably have two choices. Well, I say probably have choices. We do have, do have two choices. We can essentially go straight north. Uh, if we go straight north, it means we would have to go through some snow. Or we can go around. My inclination is to go around. The slight difficulty that provides is that... Oh. We could encounter some BTs. My hope would be we don't, but um, it all depends if we can get on the paver route. As you can see, there is a road, uh, a natural bridge built over there, so we're going to aim for that. Actually, how far is that zip line? 500 odd meters. All right, maybe we can get a bit closer. Because I've got a PCC, so I could potentially build a zip line just to help myself get near to the uh, the bridge. Whether it's worth it or not, is another story. And there is a safe house there as well, so that's another little nice thing. If it was worth it, I would let Sam have a rest, but we've barely done anything. <laughs> well, you know, we haven't been in combat, we haven't, uh, we haven't had, to, well, I have sprinted, but it's not like it was uh, run for your life sprinting. Okay, time fall. Lovely. Time falls always in this area. The same for that bridge. Although, saying that, where is that? That's 300 odd meters. 400 odd meters, maybe. Yeah, 400. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's giving conflicting reports. Okay, I'm going to try and put the sprint on. And hopefully we can just speed up getting to that bridge. I'm trying to keep an eye on Sam, and I'm also trying to keep an eye on that battery. Alright, let's slow down now. This battery is so bad. I mean, maybe I could have put a power skeleton on, maybe. I don't like the power skeleton. I'm upfront about it. I think it's a, a very lame one, but sometimes lame is better than what we're getting right now, so. This bridge is good, by the way. Don't know who put it up, but uh, yeah, it's a good bridge. Not a bad place for a safe house either, because even though it might look weird as far as you're right next to a terrorist camp, it's kind of good when you want to farm there. So you can just place some resources in the safe house uh, private locker, or even the share locker, and uh, just keep raiding it to get your materials and drive back to the distro center. Or Mountain Knot City. All right, hang on, that was a bit early for some music. <laughs> you see, that's another thing I don't know about monetization. I don't know if it, I'm assuming it won't tell me off for playing music at any time, but 
you don't I don't know if it does recognize that there's game music in the game kind of thing and it's like okay if we know that music is meant to play here we'll, we'll we won't tally off but I say that when I tried it I did play it in my private room so it shouldn't have been playing there so I haven't got a clue <laughs> but we're almost ruined thanks for the update J Games, thank you for this ladder. Ooh, there's a bit of red there. I'm half tempted to go to that safe house just to try and get out the rain. But, to be honest, I'm not that way inclined. Ooh, okay, that is not nice. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, keep going, keep going. That's it. I was a little bit worried then we'd go in the red, but no, we did okay. There is a ladder there. Don't particularly want to go for it. <laughs> I mean, I talk about the roads a lot. I talk about, I haven't talked about the zip lines as much as I felt. Oh, 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 oh. Has that damaged it? I think we're still okay. I think we're still okay. It hasn't come up saying cargo damaged. It hasn't actually come up saying antimatter uh, container damaged yet. It is going to come up with a BT warning, but they usually aren't around this area. You know who, 007. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. You know what? I should have grabbed that ladder now, I thought, to think about it. Again, I've been suckered in with memories of my previous save. So I'll, even if someone had been kind, I'm not on the Carol network yet, so I wouldn't know. We can still go this way, but I might have to adapt on the fly a little bit. Yeah, it's going to give me the BT thing, but I'm pretty sure there are none in this half of the map. They're usually over there. But I have been wrong before. <laughs> Switch my shoulder just in case. So yeah, there's a lot of red water in this area, a lot of deep water. So really we want to try and find a way around it. I'm hoping the BTs aren't anywhere near here now. Okay, I'm going to grab my shoulders because this bit is where it could get a little bit bumpy. Container damaged. Alright, um... Yeah, I've got stun bombs on me, but not cargo container repair spray, so let's grab some of that. That'll do me. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This is just me trying to multitask. <laughs> we're trying to move and we're trying to spray at the same time. Okay, uh, unequip that. Now, this is where we could suffer a little bit because there's going to be a vibration here, most likely. Yeah, there's going to be bits of red here. I'm kind of wishing I went and picked up that ladder, I'll be honest. That's interesting how that piece of cargo just drifted. All right, now I'm looking here and I'm thinking it does drift into red. But, in theory, if I cross towards the yellow, then I should avoid the red. In theory. Let's just stop here, so let's just recover some stamina. Well, at least I'm getting my steps in. Yeah, this is a heavy tide. We've got to take it slow so we don't get washed away. In fact, let's have a quick drink. Because the time is I need to ref uh, to drink some uh, bridges. Let's go to here. 
remember your canteen refills when you're in water so as you can see or maybe not actually should be able to see yeah it's refilling so uh brilliant time to have a drink in fact let's have another <laughs> just keep topping up that stamina may as well do it while we're in water here we go we're back in blue now All right. My souls are worth it. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Sam. <laughs> I'm not surprised. This has been a rough one. Luckily, we've got two spare boots. All right, pick them up. There we go. Now this bit, I'm not 100% sure on where we're going cross. Although saying that, it looks promising here because no red. All right, let's do it. Like I say, yellow's tough to cross, but not impossible. So, as long as it's not a long sustained piece of yellow, you should be fine. And even then you can pause to, you know, it's not like you suddenly get swept away. <clears throat> Ooh, how much is this? There we go. 26. Uh... I was hoping for a bit more there, I'll be honest. Now, I'm kind of tempted to cross here. Um, there's a memory chip in there, plus there's a little cavern. But if I recall correctly, this is red water. Yeah, red water right there. So, I'm going to skip that. <laughs> we can make our way back down this way when I haven't got a bomb on my back. Because we are going to have to cross over at some point. I mean, just for the record, I believe... Oh, that isn't what I thought it was. That is that is a structure that you'll, you see in the distance, usually. But I've never really looked up at this point, I'll be honest. I don't know how many of you feel like that way in your lives, but... It's like when I'm... Uh, I don't drive, but I'm in the passenger seat a lot in my car. And, uh, yeah, when... Uh, I'm out and about. There are times when I just sit there and I would go, I've never looked at this building properly. You know, like it's like something that you pass by maybe every couple of days or every day even. And maybe you just take it for granted a little bit because it's like it's always been there. You know, and I like that. That's just something from real life just bleeding into my gaming. It's always something subtle. It's not even something you would even, a game, a game developer would even think about, I'd imagine. But, uh, Still, I just like the real life parallel there. Okay, so we are making good progress. I mean, like if I just pause a second. 513 meters, it's not far at all. This bit could be difficult though. Yeah, a bit of red water coming up. Okay, so we are gonna have to cross here. Um Don't be afraid. Alright, Sam, cocky. Um How much is on these boots I'm wearing? Because I don't think it's a lot. Ooh, we're at the very last percent. Okay, we're going to equip the Omni ones. There we go. So the 99% ones, they can be recycled when we get to a facility. Um, but yeah, that'll do for now. Just while we've got this open as well, I'm going to put a container repair spray onto my tool rack. That way I've got a full one. All right, so let's cross over. And I'm going to try and push as far as I can to the right. Hopefully not too far that I end up walking into that red section. Oh, oh. Damn, damn, damn. I didn't listen to the stamina then. Ooh. Okay, that was a mistake. But that's where that hot otter horde comes in. That really rescued me then. Okay, we've got to have our bridges. Look, Sam, normally you'd be paying for uh, for a soak like this. <laughs> Just think about it that way. <laughs> okay, we're out of it. And I'm amazed we didn't get a notification on the screen then saying that the cargo had been damaged with vibrations. <laughs> I can only assume that because we hit the water and it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't 
like a hard landing. It was a soft landing. It was um, it was what saved us, but man, that was too close. All right, so now we're on this side. I'm just going to go over and collect that memory chip. Just wanted a little speed boost. Man, this has been such a slow journey. I did say it a bit ago that um, this will fill an entire episode, and I was right. I mean, at this point, I was actually expecting some music to kick in. <laughs> I shouldn't really be wishing for music, like I say, because of YouTube, but... Um, yeah, the, I remember the music kicking in when you yeah, close in on Mountain Knot City, and it was quite a nice track. And one of the things I always think to myself when I'm doing these missions, if I'm going in by truck or by uh, trike, there's this done. feeling <laughs> that um, if you go by those vehicles, you're probably going to speed the journey up a little bit and cut the song off. So sometimes it is nice doing a f on foot delivery. Again, it's why I'm hoping I'm giving like an authentic play of the game in that sense. Um, I know there might be the argument, oh, but you played it before. But, I don't know, but I feel like if you've never seen this game, actually experiencing, like, the songs as well, it is good, because some people do cut them out. You know, and I, I respect it. People want YouTube money. I, I, you know, don't get me wrong, if I can get money size one day, I'd be doing it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's like... I think it's still a nice thing to try and include it. It's where, you know, like I say... One day, maybe, if I ever got monetized, I look and I think, well, something like this, I'd hope would be a video series that could draw people in, rather than something that would actually make money. And I'm okay with that, because I'd rather have things that people like, even if they don't make me money, than something that is solely out there to make money. Especially when you talk about YouTube, I mean, I shouldn't be slacking off the prospective buyer, as it were, but everything you hear on here it's not great earn rates so it's literally just something to maybe top me up every month there we go. <laughs> so yeah it's not like it's a big thing but I can't help it whenever I, when I started doing this I did say to myself a thousand subs let's make that a, a goal you know be a nice thing to you know have a drink over one night to celebrate um, and yeah it's such a long goal to go for so whenever I hit it it would be nice. I'll certainly have a, a celebration of sort. Because the thing is, I know I could hit it artificially. I could suddenly try, uh, you know, get a weird wave of subscribers that don't watch me. So I want the people to watch me as well. I want the channel to be successful. But, um, yeah. The music's on that. I'm, I'm happy to cut waffling now. <laughs> I have started listening to these on my phone. To their credit, they're easily to they're easy to search. Ah, it's over there. Cool. I am actually curious how much damage my delivery is going to have taken. Hopefully none, <laughs> but I suspect it's taken a bit of damage. We'll see though. Not far now, 314 metres. It's actually going to be in sight in a moment. Yep, there we are. Mountain Knot City. This is a very nice locale, I must say. I've always enjoyed coming here. Imagine what sort of waking up to see this. Or maybe less the floating rocks, that creep you out a bit, but uh, just the general vibe of the area. just realised that would be quite a big vibration. <laughs> Let's not test it. Let's 
All right, Mountain Not City. I don't know. I feel like I, I tried to take my time there and the music still cut off early. <laughs> Interesting, that isn't on the Carol Network, but it still seems relatively low, that. You know, there have been some we've passed by that were in the thousands for Carol Crystals. That's only 600. All right, one antimatter bomb incoming. <laughs> Sam looks absolutely cream crackered. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if I'd been transporting a bomb, I think I'd be a bit cream crackered. Um, I'm actually curious, like I said, how much damage did it take? Ooh, only 43 for the container. Right, I'm getting the uh, spray on it. Lovely. All right, I'm chuffed with that. Not a single bit of damage. So you know what, that might have taken an entire episode, but hopefully I've shown you that it's possible to do it. It might not be quick, but it's possible. I'm sure there is a quick way involving a vehicle, but I, I can't imagine how you do it with vehicles without um, without taking the vibrations, I'll be honest. Here we go. Short of going there in advance and building the roads, which would be a little bit expensive. All right. No affiliation with the US, UCA. Less than 40% damage. We got a fair few likes for that. S rank, lovely. Cargo condition 40. We're now a skilled courier. Keep up the pace as you race to the edge of the world and back again. In cargo condition grade 40, it will now be harder for you to lose consciousness. The hell do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would figure that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right, enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're going to put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves. Thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. No, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Rejected. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One, went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a Cairo network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Malingan's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. 
But if we don't bring Lochner around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Yeah, I'm not asking you to stick your nose in their business, but if you wouldn't mind, you know, it'd be helpful. <laughs> Alright, let's just put all this lot on my back because I can afford to now. Same with the carrier. And organise, there we go. So, unfortunately this place is not affiliated with the UCA, and because of that we haven't got any chiral network uh, around the area. So, in case you can't tell, I am absolutely shattered. <laughs> My battery's dead. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm a sticky spot here with Sam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the recording here. Um, yeah, Sam can have a nice little chill. In the meantime, what I'm going to do in between recordings, i.e. once I press stop here, I'm going to do it. I'm going to uh, get Sam back to depot of Mountain Knot City, at the very least. I'm going to let him have a rest because the poor sod needs it. <laughs> And then we are going to, we're going to make our way back to Mama. I believe we can, oh, we can't even check our uh, wrist pad here. <laughs> go on, Sam, go on, you can have a sleep, go on. Mo uh, Lotna won't like it, but she's been a bit of a douche right now, so, oh, hang on. Wake up. What, what, you're not having a proper sleep, go on, actually sleep. There you go. Just get into it, you know, settle in. <laughs> but yeah, um... We're going to make our way back to Mama. We did have a little thing on our um, on our cufflink, well, a piece of mail, just now saying, "Will you go speak to Mama?" That was someone from this facility. So uh, yeah, we're going to make our way back to her. But uh, in the meantime, we may do a few things on the way, including that delivery I mentioned last episode, which is the uh, director's cut delivery. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll get that done. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, all the usual YouTube stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in the next episode and we'll be, we'll be making our way back to Mama. Catch you then, folks. Bye for now.